Hi Smart Monks and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. This is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into math masters. And I post videos weekly, so turn on the notification button and post subscribe to the channel if you want to know when I'm posting a new video. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to factorize the sum and the difference of cubes. I'm also going to explain to you the difference between simplification and a factorization and then just remind you of all the different types of ways you can factorize but specifically focusing on the difference in sum and of cubes if you want to practice the work that's covered in this video you can find a worksheet on my website that i will make available to you in the description box below so without further ado let's jump into this video <music> when you are given a sum and a difference of cubes. Now, before I start, I want to explain and make sure that you understand the difference between simplification and factorization. Now, when a question asks you to simplify, they want you to find the answer, okay, in its simplest form. So, a uh, basic example, if I say 6 times 3 gives me 18, 18 is the answer, so that is your simplified form. If I give you 18 and I ask you to then go and give me the factors, that would mean that I have factorized. So the same principle applies when we're working with algebra. So let's look at cubes. If I said this is two um, terms multiplied by three terms, if I, I apply the distributive law, I then end up as a final answer as x to the 3 plus y to the 3. Now, you don't have to worry how I got to that answer for now. That is the answer of the two brackets being multiplied by each other. And that is then considered your simplified form, right? But if I'm going from that answer and then they'll ask you to factorize, then you have to stop at the factors, okay? Where it is again, this two terms that has. So we've taken this and we've put it in its factors. But if... I am asked to simplify, I am asked to get rid of the brackets. But when I'm factorizing, I have to put the factors in brackets. So it's very important that you know that. Okay? Then, when it comes to the sum and difference of cubes, now, it is important when you are dealing with factorization that you are clear on the different types of uh, factorization um, way or methods. Right? So you've got highest common factor, difference of two squares, trinomials, grouping. Each of these have a specific way in which you have to factorize. So your first job actually when a question says factorize is to be able to identify which of those they are actually asking me to do. Once I identify it, then I apply that method. So for this video, in this question, if you see a sum, so that's a plus, or the difference, that's a minus, of cubes, you have to apply this method. Now, cubes just simply means anything multiplied by itself three times, the answer is a cube, right? So, x to the power of 3 is a cube because it's x times x times x. Y is a cube because it's y times y times y. So whenever you are, whenever you see a question that's got a plus or a minus, two terms only, first term and the second term are both cubes, then this is the method you are going to apply. It's very important that you are first able to identify what, what type of question is this and then apply the appropriate method. Okay. So let's say you've done all of that and you get to a question, you've now identified that this is a sum or difference of cubes. Now I'm going to take you through the steps for this method. So it's not difficult and you'll see no matter how complex the question looks, the steps are the steps. Okay, so if I look at this question now, this is a positive, so it's a sum of two cubes, so I know I'm going to apply this method. So the steps say, open the first bracket and cube root both terms. So I'm going to open a bracket and I'm going to write the cube root of this as the first term 
and the cube root of this as the second term, that is my first factor. Second step, you're going to open another bracket and now you're going to forget about the question and look at this first bracket, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to square the first term and put the answer as the first term in the second bracket, right? So x squared gives me that. Then you're going to take the second term, square that and put it in as the last term in the second bracket. Then you are going to take this, you're going to look at this sign, this is a plus, and you're going to write the opposite sign next to the first term. So this is positive, so we're going to write negative. If this was negative, we we're going to write positive. And then we're going to say the two terms multiplied by each other. So x times y, ignoring the middle sign, x times y gives me xy. And there's your two terms. So... We're cube rooting each term in the bracket, right? Then we are forgetting the question now and we're moving to the second term where we square this, square this, opposite sign, multiply these by each other. That's it. Okay, let's do another example. I look at this question. The question says factorize. And um, I know that this is a cube and this is a cube. Okay, because this is 3 times 3 times 3. And 216 is, um, sorry, is 6 times 6 times 6, right? So now let's open the first bracket, right? So we open by writing the cube root of 27, which is 3. That you can just substitute into your calculator. And the cube root of 216 is 6. And the cube root of y to the 3 is y. Done. First factor complete. I open the second bracket. Now I square the first term, add it as the first term here. Square the second term, add it as the last term. And then add the opposite sign. And then say 3 multiplied by 6y, ignoring the middle sign, which gives me 18y. And that is your factors. Okay, so let's see if it, there's a fraction, right? So here again... If you get a fraction, it's only a cube if the top number and the bottom number is a cube, okay? So in this case, this is 1 times 1 times 1, and this is x times x times x. So this is a cube. So you apply the same method. Open the first bracket by writing the cube root, okay? Then I open the second bracket, square the first term, square the last term. Write in the opposite sign, and then x multiplied by 1 over x. The x's end up cancelling and I'm just left with 1. Okay, so x over 1 times 1 over x, those x's will cancel each other and you're just left with 1 and that's how I got the middle one there. Now let's do one more example but this is sort of a complex example and I can guarantee you if you can understand this one, you don't have to worry about this section. Because this is as difficult as it can get. Okay? So, watch this. I notice this is a difference. This is a cube. This is a cube. What do I do? I open my first bracket following the same steps. Look at this now. This is negative. X is the cube root of that. Right? Then, X plus 1 cubed. That means that X plus 1 is the cube root. Again, I write the same sign as it is in the question. Fine. Open the second bracket. I square the first term. I square the second term. I write the opposite sign. And then I take this and I multiply it by that. And now all you need to do is you have to simplify inside each bracket. Now, I know that it's sort of counterintuitive because the question is saying factorize, but we've already put it in its factors. All we're doing now is simplifying the factors, okay? So, in this case, I'm going to multiply the negative right out. So, I'm going to go negative x and negative 1, right? Then here, I'm going to get rid, I'm going to say negative x and multiply that in, 
And then here I'm going to square this bracket by saying using the method where we go binomial times a binomial. Okay, so this will then be that answer. This is this this answer, and then this then will give me this. Okay, I've just simplified each term now. Again, now I see is like terms, so I go x minus x minus x will give me minus 2x minus 1. There my first term is now complete. I look at this one, and I end up saying, okay, x squared, and then that positive times negative gives me a negative x squared there. This positive times negative gives me that negative x there. Then here I've got positive, and I just can include all of this because there's a positive in front of the back. Okay, and then I this has already been simplified, and so I just simplify this one by saying x squared minus x squared cancels each other out as zero. So it just left with the x squared and then the minus x over there, and then the positive one over there. And that is then my two factors. Okay. Now I want you to pause this video and I want you attempt to attempt and factorize these four questions for me. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of a hint. By D, you have to first take out the highest common factor and then factorize. That's the only hint I'm giving you for this exercise. Okay, so pause the video now and then unpause when you are done. Okay, so let's see how you did. Okay. So for the first one, you ended up with x minus 1 in the first bracket, and then x squared plus x plus 1 in the second bracket. For b, you ended up with xy minus a half in the first bracket, and then x squared y squared plus xy over 2 plus a quarter in the second bracket. Okay, then for c, this one was a tricky one. Again, we ended up with 5 minus x plus 1, and then you had to follow the method by squaring, squaring, and then multiplying the two with each other, which then ultimately ended up as 4 minus x, x squared plus 7x plus 31 in the second bracket. Pause the video here, slow it down, double check, make sure that you understand before you move on. Then the last one, this is the one that I gave you the heat on. Here you'll see that there's 5 is actually a common factor. So you would first take out the 5 and it would give you 8 plus x to the 3. Because you would notice here that this is not a sum of cubes. Once you take it out, now you are left with a sum of cubes. Right, so the 5 is in the first factor and now you're factorizing this. So the cube root of 8 is 2, cube root of x cubed is x. Square, square, change sign, and then the two multiply by each other. So your final answer is then 5 times 2 plus x times 4 minus 2x flux, flux, <laughs> plus x squared. And that is how you factorize the sum and difference of cubes. All right, so there's that video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can add it in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Also, you can find all the information I have of all the other resources I have to offer in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!